Twitch up. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is T.O. here, and I am back with the pickups. But before we get started, I have a favor to ask you guys. In case you didn't know, uh, my girlfriend Leia has a YouTube channel. And uh, as of the day I'm recording this, which is actually Labor Day, so happy really late Labor Day to you guys, even though the day I'm recording this it is so. Happy Labor Day to me, current time, Labor Day time, but happy really late Labor Day to all of you guys viewing time. But anywho, um, yeah, my girlfriend has a YouTube channel, and like I said, the day I'm filming this, she has 96 subscribers, and I want to get her to 100. You know, I'd appreciate that if you guys could do that, and she'd appreciate that even more. But yeah, go sub to her, guys. She's got a lot of great videos up there. She had, like, her Japan vlog, because she went to Japan for some trip or something like that. And, ooh, excuse me, I don't even know why that happened. I'm drinking water. Ooh, that was weird. But anywho, oh, that's embarrassing. But anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, she's got her Japan vlog up and other various vlogs and other videos. But there's something to love for everyone on that channel, so go check her out, guys. I'd appreciate that. And anyways... Let's get in these pickups here, because I don't want to. I don't want to take any longer, because I got a lot of cool stuff and a lot of stories to tell during this. So, we're gonna take a trip back to May second, two thousand and fifteen. This is a Saturday. So, on um, this particular Saturday, I was very grumpy in the morning. I have no idea why I was such a, in such a bad mood, but I was. And well, it might have been because I we had to get up an extra half hour earlier to go to a state sale. And this is the state sale. The only reason we went to it. And the only reason we got up so early, because obviously it started at 8, but it had video games at the sale. So we're like, let's get there first, and let's take a look, see what they got. So we're like, all right, we'll go. And, because normally we go, me and Leia, whatever, we go out at 8 in the morning. No, not today. We went out at 7.30. So that was a bit annoying waking up. But I don't know why I was in a bad mood. But my mood changed whenever I saw this. And so, like I said, there were five consoles there. So I walk in. Unfortunately, I didn't have footage of this or else I would have put it in. But I just didn't feel comfortable filming the estate sale because, I don't know, there's like so many people and they're like, why do you film? But it just it just eliminates a lot of the hassle, I guess. But anywho, so I'm there, I'm looking around, I go to the basement and I ended up uh, finding those game consoles that were mentioned. I found, what, there was a PS2, a PS3, a Wii, and a Dreamcast. Yeah, there was a Dreamcast there. So, you know, this is going to be good. My cat is like trying to catch her tail right now. What are you doing? God. Anywho, um, there's a Dreamcast there, and apparently there was also an NES, or maybe there were just NES games, but there were two of them, and I'll get to that later, but there was no console for the NES, which I'm assuming that either there wasn't a console, and just the five consoles meant, like, consoles with games for them, consoles optional, or someone just got the console but didn't grab the games, which I don't know how you can't, how you can miss those, but anywho... Uh, so I'm like all over this Dreamcast and like, oh my god, this is awesome. And the console itself, it was like, it had a sticker on it, and, or not a sticker, like some paper, whatever, just taped with the console. It said, Sega Dream, it said Sega, yay, because they didn't know it was a Dreamcast apparently. So like, Sega, yay, and they had a $7.50 price mark on it. I'm like, wow, this is a great deal. And then there were two, two controllers that came with it, and they both had $2 price marks on them. And there were like, what, 10 games with the console? And there was, I don't know what the prices were on that, so... I take all the Dreamcast stuff, I go up to one of the tenants and I'm like, hey, can you guys do 750 for all of this? And they're like, you know, sure, whatever. So, 750 for all the Dreamcast stuff. Yeah, that's great. That's amazing. 750 Dreamcast lot. Oh my god, yeah. But it gets even better. And it gets even better as I keep explaining. And so, you know, those two NES games that were there, I ended up picking those up too. And I, and apparently this is like kind of dumb to me, but. Because it was one of those organized estate sales by a company or whatever. So, the main sales lady, uh, she has a Twitter. I mean, who doesn't have a Twitter in and out of these days? But, anywho, she has a Twitter. And on her Twitter, she has a, like, like a secret word where if you say it, you get a discount. And I looked up on Twitter. I'm like, all right, I'm getting this word. Because I, I want to get all this stuff here for a good price. And so, I say the word to one of the attendants, and apparently they yelled at me because apparently I spoke it too loud, and other people might steal the deal or whatever, which, whatever. But, anyways, I told them the code word, I ended up getting the Dreamcast stuff, all of it, and those two NES titles for $7.50. $7.50, people. $7.50. Just, just remember that throughout this whole thing. And so, you know, Dreamcast a lot. Oh, that's awesome. No, it's even better. Because it is the Sega Sports Edition Dreamcast. Yeah. 
by the self by itself this is like 60 50 dollars something like that it's an, it's expensive because it's the only what non like this is the only like different commercial release console variant something like that yeah i think there's a couple other ones that were just very rare like one in like a thousand or something but this is like, commercially relevant but yeah 750 by itself would have been great considering it's a 50 60 dollar item and before I forget, we have the two controllers here. The Sega Sports one obviously comes with the performance memory card, which actually works like the PlayStation 2 memory cards, where if you put it in, you risk, like the unofficial ones, you risk like losing your data every time you turn on your console, which would suck. And it came with another controller as well, and that was just your standard white one, which came with a rumble pack, which I actually never had a rumble pack for the Dreamcast. And fun fact, I do not like controller vibration at all. I know some people, you might, you might hate me for that now, but I just... I think personally it just distracts my gaming, like it makes it more difficult for me to focus, so I never liked the remote pack, so it's cool to have, but I'm probably not going to use it. Anyways, let's get down to these games here. Like I said, there were 10 games in this lot, and 5 were just really common titles, and I'm just going to list through them right now really fast. We got like, what, my third or fourth copy of NBA 2K, love this game, mind you, I love this game, but very common. Uh, we got the Dreamcast Web Browser 2.0 with oh, the little um, advertisement we decided just to uh, spew one out. What are you doing, bud? And then we have what, NHL 2K, which I think is my, my, my fourth copy of this game, something like that. This is like my third copy of World Series Baseball 2K1. And probably like my 12th copy of NFL 2K. I could probably frame, like, put all my NFL 2Ks and frame it on a wall. Like, I might do that now. Why not? But, yeah. That's the, all the common titles, but it gets even better, let me tell you. First of which is a demo disc, and that is the Dreamcast Generator Volume 2 with, like, what, Fur Fighters, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Tomb Raider, and a couple other titles on there. Freaking awesome. I love the demo discs. I'm probably not going to do much with this one, but, you know, still cool to have. But then, we're going to get these last four games, and I want to say all four of these games have a minimum of, like, a 15 buck price mark. Like, they're worth, like, at least 15 bucks minimum. Some even maximum, but still, 15 bucks like plus for all these games, value-wise, which is ridiculous. But the first of which is Star Wars Demolition. And mind you, I'm going off these prices off the top of my head, because like this is what they were whenever I looked them up initially back in like May, but I haven't looked them up in months, so prices have probably changed. But yeah, probably, I think it's like 10 to 15 buck game there, so awesome. We've got the King of Fighters Dream Match 1999, like I said, another 10 to 15 buck title there. Freaking great, need all these for the collection. And between these last two, I'm not sure which one is more like uncommon or more expensive, but they're both about $25 titles. And the first of which is Tokyo Stream Racer 2, which I never knew existed. I know the first one existed. Still actually don't have a copy of the game, but Tokyo Stream Racer 2, I've looked this up and I believe this is a fairly uncommon title. So that's awesome to have, 25 bucks worth. And then the last one I've never heard of, but awesome, we got what? The F-355 Challenge Passion Rosa, it is, in a, it is a Ferrari game. Once again, I think another very uncommon title. I believe so, off the top of my skull. And 25 buck price mark on it, so that's freaking awesome. So, yeah, all of that was 750 but we got to count in those NES games too. Those two awesome titles. And the first of which is fairly common, but still awesome. We got Super Mario Brothers 3 with... You know, the manual too. And the sleeve, which is on the table in front of me. But yeah, this is freaking awesome, especially with the manual. Actually, I don't think I have the manual for this game, so that's awesome. But, fun fact for you guys. This is the label variant version of Super Mario Bros. 3. You're probably thinking, what are you talking about? It's the same. No, it's actually not the same. I'm not sure which one of these was the first, or if this is the first edition, this is the later edition. I'm not sure, but there's a label variant here. And this one uh, has the bros right below the M. And in my other copy, my initial copy, and some of you guys' initial copies too, if you have duplicates, check this out. But this one has the bros right below the Rio in Mario. This one has the below the M, below the Rio. So yeah, label variant, that's pretty cool. There's not really a price difference considering that it's very difficult to notice. You wouldn't actually look at it and be like, oh, there's a label variant there. Okay, cool. Nah. Same, about the same worth, but still pretty freaking awesome to have those different variants. So, yeah, Super Mario Bros. 3 with manual. And then lastly, we have none other than Punch-Out. 
Not the Mike Tyson one, but the just standalone punch out. And I'll say this is the later release because I think something with Mike Tyson, I think he dropped out of Nintendo or something, something stupid. Then so they had to release Punch Out and adjust the final boss or whatever. But I'll say this is like a 20, 25 buck game off the top of my head, which is freaking ridiculous that I got it with everything else for 750. So want to get to playing this. I've heard this game's a lot of fun. I know I haven't played Punch Out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm behind. Please don't kill me. After the estate sale, we ended up going to a couple garage sales that were close distance to the estate sale. So first place we went was actually, like I said, a garage sale, but it was like in the people's basement, not like actually outside of their garage, which was a bit uncomfortable. But anywho, so we walk in there and I see a controller sitting there and I'm like, all right, cool. This could be good. They might have the console somewhere, just not have it put out. So I ask, do you have the console or any games for this controller that it goes with? And she's like, no, just the controller. So I'm like, all right, still, whatever. And I asked her if she can do a buck for it, and she said, yeah. So for a dollar here, we got the NES Max controller. Now, this is the, my second, you know, NES Max controller, which, you know, pretty cool. Hey there, um, I'm wearing a hoodie, and the background's changed. What gives? Well, I'm in post-production right now, and... I totally realized that I forgot to include a pickup after I started editing this. So, um, we're, we're coming right after the NES Max and go to another garage sale, which was somewhere near that place. Um, so they had the DS Lite there on their uh, on the table, and so I asked them how much they want for it. Uh, and the lady says five. She says, not sure if it's working, but I'm missing the charger. So I ended up talking her down to two bucks on it. So, yeah, I ended up getting the DS Lite for two bucks. Uh, I ended up moving um, my stylus and whatever over to this DS, making this my main DS light. And yeah, it says Noah on there. There's a sticker on there. My name's not Noah. You should know that. You should know that. <laughs> I missed that pun when I said it. I'm so mad. But there was actually like camo on the bottom of this camo sticker, but that came off. So yeah, $2 DS light. Works great. Yay. The last garage that we went to before we started heading to stuff that was around our home, uh, we stopped at one garage sale, and um, I can't remember how it came to be, but I want to say I ended up talking to people. I think I saw one of these video games sitting out there on their table or something, or I might have asked for them. I think I asked for them. They pulled they pulled these out, and they're like, yeah, they're scratched to death. We never would have thought someone wanted them or whatever. So... I think they said they originally said all three of these for two bucks, but I talked them down to three for one because they were scratched up, and they said yes. But I mean, like I said, they're scratched up, but I've definitely seen worse scratches on stuff. Let me tell you, I've seen worse. But this is pretty good for I mean, three for a buck, so why not? And the first of which is Guitar Hero World Tour on the Wii. These are all Wii Guitar Hero games, but whatever. Guitar Hero Three uh, Legends of Rock, and then we have Guitar Hero Aerosmith. So that's pretty freaking cool. I mean, Guitar Hero is always fun. Just the Wii and Guitar Hero doesn't look as great as it can on the 360. It looks so much better, let me tell you. But anyways, we ended up going back home. And there was this, like, what, flea market? Little flea market thing, which was in the parking lot of some business you wouldn't think would have a flea market in front of it. But it happened. And I ended up getting this for a dollar. And that is Battlefield Bad Company on the 360. The first game in the series... It is complete, and for a dollar, I'm definitely not going to say no. I mean, why would you say no to a dollar game? Especially three for a dollar here, despite the condition. Like, why not? I can always find something to do with these. I can always, hell, I can burn them, step on them, use them as frisbees. I don't know. I'll figure something out with them. And, but yeah, a dollar, no complaints there. So yeah, after that, we ended up uh, going to lunch. I mean, everyone has, everyone's got to eat. And then went to Orphe Media for one final time. It was our last day in business, May 2nd, 2015. So, uh, Rip in Pieces, or Rip in Pieces, wow. Rip in Pieces, Orphan Media, yeah. Really miss you guys, even this day. You guys were a great store, great employees, great everything. But, anyways, going along with that, this is my last pickups from Orphan Media, and I'm still very sad to say that. Even four months after the fact, still very sad to say that. But, anyways, the first thing that I actually got from that from my last Orphan Media pickup was, I guess you want to call this a Dreamcast grab bag. And it was, I got it for four bucks. And it was initially what you would have gotten if you would have purchased a console from there. And actually, ironically, this was for the black Dreamcast because they had a uh, Sega Sports Edition Dreamcast at one point or another. I think I had it for like 35 bucks, but I, I missed out on it. I missed out on it because I think 
I was broke at the time or something like that, or I wasn't thinking, hey, let's get another Dreamcast, because I already had one, but anyways, I ended up picking this up specifically for one reason, but I'll explain that in a sec, but it came with the uh, controller, uh, it came with AV cables, but there's RF in here, I'll get to that, and then the power supply, but the RF, the uh, console that I got at the estate sale actually came with an RF thing for the Dreamcast, like, in the year 2000, are you seriously still using an RF output? Like, composite's bad, I know. But really? RF in the year 2000? Like, does the only TV you have one from the 70s? Hell, actually, they probably they didn't even have RF in the 70s, did they? Maybe, excuse me, the late 70s. But I don't know. That's ridiculous. Like, just at least use composite or something, not RF. You're just... Hurting your eyes and everyone else around you, my lord. But enough of my rambling, so... With, here's the actual wires that came with the Dreamcast, but I ended up swapping the uh, RF out for the AV that came with this Dreamcast grab bag. So, yeah, that's the only reason I got this grab bag here. Plus extra controller, I mean, why not? I think, I, I think I'm already at almost like, oh god, probably two dozen as of right now. Maybe like 18 to 24, something like that. A lot of Dreamcast controllers, I know. I love that console, so it's understandable. But, yeah. So, swapped out those cables, and I'm going to probably get either keep the RF just to keep, or I'm going to throw it at someone, or sell it with a Dreamcast lot and make them suffer. That's going to be their problem, not mine. But, anyways, I got three other things while I was at Orphan Media, and the first of which was for a dollar, and that is Family Feud on the Super Nintendo. And the label is pretty bad, as you can tell. It's, like, lipping up here, which sucks. But it's not like it's like Chrono Trigger where if, you ha if your label looks like that, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. Unless you can manage to get another Chrono Trigger, which is definitely not impossible, but it's just unlikely for a while. So, yeah, a dollar. I mean, Family Feud, why not get it? Despite the label damage. Uh, next, I got for $2 for the PlayStation 2, uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Actually, I have not played a Battlefront game in my life. Now, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I know. Punch out. I'm sorry, but... This, I know, I'm sorry, but for two bucks, I mean, I couldn't say no. And, I mean, I don't I do not do much with the PlayStation 2, considering the games are so dirt cheap. And I just don't like the controller, I don't know why. But, this is the only thing I'd actually pick up for the PS2 that's actually decent. But, I mean, I might give it a go, because I need to, because I know I'm behind. You're going to crucify me in the comments, I'm sorry. But, yeah, it's like something that's definitely worthwhile for the console. Despite it being filled with sports titles and other games you would never play in your entire life. But, anyways, lastly, for a dollar, I picked this up, and it was only a dollar because I was actually missing one disc out of it, and I'll explain that in a sec. But, for the GameCube, we got R Racing Revolution. Uh, it is complete, but it apparently came with Pac-Man Versus, and I think that would make sense because they're both Namco titles. The other day, we went to Repurposed. Probably see some of the pickups there in the... Thing. I'm actually filming this with my monitor off, so there's no glare on the stuff, or at least less of a glare. So, you, yeah, you might see it, you might not see it, but, yeah. Her purpose. They, um, around this time, they had moved stores, because they were originally in the mall, like you've seen many times before. But they got their own, actually, little, they got their own building now, which is pretty cool. And so, it was the first time I was there, whenever they, um, had moved the buildings. I want to say this is actually probably their first day opening, or first couple of days opening. But I walked in, whatever, the way, the way their games are, you walk in the front door... You hang a right and you hang another right near by the games and media. And this is the first time walking in there. Unfortunately, I was not filming, which I would have loved to be filming because my reaction was ridiculous and hilarious during this. But for 10 bucks, I ended up getting four GameCube controllers. Two are um, official Nintendo ones and two were aftermarket third-party ones. One of the third-party ones, I actually ended up like selling a part of a uh, GameCube lot for whatever amount of money, but it's out of my hands. No aftermarket controller, so yay. But... And a game for 10 bucks, which is awesome. But first off here, we have the Indigo controller. This is like my, what, third Indigo controller or something like that. Never, never hurts to have more GameCube. Um, and here's the aftermarket controller. It is by uh, Gamester. It is like a racing wheel-like controller thingy. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. But it's, it's a really cool looking third party controller. I mean, honestly it is. But the only downside of it, it is like, it just feels so cheap. Like, I mean, I think, what, it also, like, rotates here? Like, it does that? 
it locks into place too so it doesn't do that the other uh, official dreamcast or not dreamcast excuse me gamecube i'm still hyped up about that dreamcast lot man but the other gamecube controller is the black one which is actually my first black gamecube controller so i'm stoked about that because growing up i had the platinum console so obviously they came with the platinum controller and never had the black one so that's awesome and then the game that came with it like i said uh, or I got with it, whatever, it was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and this is, what, my second copy of this game, so, yeah, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Anyways, that is it for the me. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, let me know what you thought your, my best pickup was. I'm assuming it would be the Dreamcast lot, but maybe you, hell, maybe you like the Aftermarket Controller. Maybe you like Family Feud. Maybe you like Scratched Wii Guitar Hero games. I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought down below and leave other comments, whatever. Leave a like too. I also subscribe to Leia, please. She'd greatly appreciate that. I'd greatly appreciate that. That is it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching and putting up my rambling. And I will talk to you guys next time.